Can you hear me? Yeah. Sweet. Look I'm going to try to do that. this outside. Yeah, I was going to say, look at you with that great natural lighting. Uh, it, 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 uh, it helps uh, highlight my beauty, so. Right? It's hard, it's hard to properly appreciate the sheen on top without a good light source. Well, now I'm going to be self-conscious about that. No, stop <laughs> it. Stop it. It just means I'm in good company. That's all that means. We're here to talk about seedlings. Uh, well, we're putting this video together because we're doing a Kickstarter for it. And it's exciting. This is a project you've invested over 10 years of your life on. I think I'm remembering correctly. Yep. And uh, I think it's a super fun book. I'm obviously a huge fan of you and your style and your approach. I think it's unique. I think what's nice about the way the industry is right now is a book like this has a has a stronger footing than it would have 10 years ago because there's so many more open eyes and ears to personal projects and individual styles and stuff like that. Can you share uh, what it is about seedlings that is uh, makes it special for you? Well, seedlings, um, I think what makes it the most special to me is is, is almost a personal journey for me. Um, I think, I personally think that I can see a difference, uh, especially in art style from the first book or from the first issue that, that I was going to do three issues up until the end to the third issue. Yeah. Um, there's a little bit of a change. There's a little bit um, difference in how layouts work in the pages and things like that. But the main thing is, is it's it's like my baby. It's like something that I birthed from my head and um, have <laughs> basically kind of raised, I guess. And you, you worked with Richard Caldwell to flesh yeah, it out. Yeah, Richard Caldwell. Yeah, great guy. So it's fun that you had that uh, a supportive collaborator through the process, but the, the book itself, like 80% of it is is all you. You did the full illustrations, the lettering. Uh, I mean, it's from a technical standpoint, you formatted you know, the art so that we have it ready to print, which is important thing I think for backers to know is this book is completely done. We're not bringing something to say, hey, do you want to, you know, pledge some money and then hopefully in a year you have a book? This is a, a fully fleshed out, complete story that's ready to go. And, and we just want to have this as a vehicle to get it into people's hands so that they can experience the story you, you came up with. Yeah, yeah, thank you. And I, I mean, I, I want to throw that out there. I just, it's, I don't think that this book would exist without Richard's help. I had kind of an idea, a concept. He took it and, and gave it structure, he put the script in place, and he created the specific characters that are involved. <laughs> the phrase I like to use is he kind of breathed life into it. I will share that one of the, as working with you to get this prepped and, and, and get this set up for Kickstarter campaign and just to help publish it in general. One of the challenging things about this book is it's difficult to describe without spoiling the book. The only thing that I can really come up with is if you as a reader enjoy stories about discovery, enjoy stories about uh, overcoming obstacles and uh, can relate to the strength that comes from a family unit, then then you're probably gonna get a kick out of this story. And also obviously if you enjoy uh, other world stories because this doesn't take place in a modern earth environment Environment. It's a it's a fantastical environment with cool creatures and big moments and personal moments. But the it's difficult to say it in any other way than to be vague about it because the story is feels very specific. And so the yeah. that's the only thing I've come up with is just to describe it as a story that's in a way is about accomplishment. Is is that sound right to you? Yeah, almost like a coming of age story, I guess. Yeah, yeah. That's so. a really that's a good term to use, coming of age. And uniquely in this story, it's not just one person. In this case, we have a group of people. We have a lot of personality dynamics. We have uh, there's real struggle, there's real danger, and real consequences, which I think makes it a very strong story, um, at least from my effort to try and be a good storyteller. What's great about an individual story like this is everything that happens, happens, and it's good. That is the way it is, and there isn't any um, retroactive changes on the back end to retcon it into something else so we can sell more books later. Like this is a, a complete story. And I think that's, you know, that would be one of the selling points to, for if I was looking at this and I didn't have the insight that I have on it, is that uh, it's a complete story. It's 
done in that we could literally send the files to the printer tomorrow. And then it's also just a lot of fun. It's There's nothing else like it that I've read. So that'll be, I hope people will take a chance on it and enjoy themselves. I really hope people give it a chance. The story in it is, in my opinion, is, is amazing. When I got it back from, um, from Richard, I wasn't sure how it was going to go. I, I kind of was upset with how some of the things happened, which I think is, is a good good indicator of a good writer, uh, is, is that they make you care about the, about the characters and stuff like that. Yes. And I actually found myself, when I was drawing the last pages, I found myself actually crying. <laughs> about some of the stuff and you know yeah. I can't get into any more of that without skipping anything away but uh, I think you're exactly right I love when people uh, critique media of any kind a, a book a novel a comic a movie whatever and they and they say oh I really hated this moment or I really I really hated this character because oftentimes you were supposed to like it's yep. that that probably wasn't supposed to be a moment you were meant to enjoy which is part of what makes it so great which for me I mean you probably experience it yourself but as I've tried to like be a better writer and just be better at crafting stories that's something I had to learn to love a little I had to learn to to really enjoy hurting my own feelings and just and because if it's if it's affecting me then hopefully the person who reads it once it's done is also going to be like well damn that that happened and that's uh and then it has more value that way yeah thanks. i'll do this <laughs> stuff with you forever man this will be this yeah. is fun you know now you you either got to let me know when you come up with another life-changing story that hopefully doesn't take 10 years to finish well this is good i we should uh do this again sometime just to visit because good to see you right i'll see you oh yeah i can leave all right see you later. you can leave get out go away <laughs>